What is up? 47. Gang, gang, gang. Morning, morning, y'all. All right. How's everybody doing today? It is Tuesday, October 20th. Can y'all believe we are almost in the last two months of the year? So crazy. Today's video will be featuring one of these new Wet n Wild palettes. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these. They recently came out. This is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat and the Wet n Wild Ice Cream B. And this video, I was supposed to have got it up, y'all. But I had to order the palettes and I had to order the lippies. And I had to order them from two separate places because my Walgreens didn't have none of it. So here are the lippies that I purchased. I think it's two or three lippies per palette. So I got two that came that are part of the coffee um, cat palette. And then I got one that's part of the ice cream B. And I got this pink looking one here. I might get the rest of them, but I don't know how I'm gonna like them. So I figured I would wait. Okay. This video, I think I'm going to dedicate it to the coffee cap palette since this will be easier to do a look with. The ice cream B one looks really interesting. However, y'all know <laughs> what I shadow how I be. I ain't got time to play today. So I'm gonna open this palette. Then we're gonna come up with a look and I will be using some items in this video that I have not used before. So we're going to see what goes on with those. Um, yeah, let me open this palette. Okay, so y'all, if y'all can hear all the noise outside, I will shut that window. Okay, so like I said, this is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat Palette. Um, and it's supposed, it says coffee scented. It smells like, I don't really smell like coffee. It smells like something else. It's like cappuccino or something like that. It doesn't really have the strong smell of coffee. It's my like cappuccino. The other one's supposed to smell like ice cream, I guess. So what I'm gonna do, take my eyeshadow brushes over here, try to put them somewhere. And um, I usually have a mirror sitting this way but i have so much stuff in my way right now y'all hold on that i don't know if i can put a mirror i have one right here i don't know if i'm be able to see any good but we're gonna we're gonna do this so i put my primer on already so now let's see I'm going to, we're going to try to make this video quick and easy, y'all. Go into Express Yourself Best, Your Best Shot Cafe Loading. I think this is, I don't know, but it's this color right here. And I'm going to go into this and I'm going to put this, this is just going to be like a transition shade. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm looking in the mirror where most of the light is. But yeah, I can pick up on the smell. It's really strong, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's really, really strong. Ugh. So we just gonna use that for transition. Try to cover up. Cause I let my primer dry down. That's the thing about the Milani primer. You want to make sure you rub it all the way in. Because if you do not, honey, 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 it will be a mess. It will dry. Okay, so now I'm going to take another brush. And I'm going to go in with something darker. This shade down here. Uh, and this one is called Cafe Loading. I think that's what it's called kind of hard to read oh this is pretty so far y'all this is really pretty i like that deeper brown mm. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. It's still like it's showing up. It's like a reddish brown, really pretty. So now, y'all, let's see what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go in with this color here in this corner. And I believe this is called cream and sugar here. And I might need to use... Ooh, Let me see if I can wet this brush. Sometimes it's better to use your fingers. I'm coming to realize that sometimes I wet it. Let's see. Oh, this is really nice. But it's not giving me picking up with the brush. So I'm going to rub my fingers in here. And I'm going to go across. Yeah, it's better to use your fingers sometimes, y'all. So that's what I like to do. But you can get it to... Yeah, this... The, Y'all, this coffee, pretend coffee smell that they got going on is a little annoying. And it's like really strong. Okay, so as y'all can see, that color is there. Um, I'm going to say this much. It's not giving me the payoff that I want it to. Um, I don't know. Let me get a flat shader brush and see. Well, a flatter brush to see if that makes a difference. I'm going to try with this brush here. This is just a brush I got from the 99 cent only store called Face Icon. Well, the brand is called Face Icon and it came in a little set. So let's see if that's better. Mm. Y'all, I. I don't know if y'all can see what I see going on, but it's not doing what the other Wet n Wild palettes that I have do. It's like, okay. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to be long and I don't want y'all sitting here all day. I'm going to figure out this look. I'm going to come back and I will move on to the next product that I want to try out. Because this is the smell, y'all. The smell. I don't know. But this here, this palette is not speaking to me like I wanted it to. Come on, Wet and Wilder. I was, I was excited. But I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I've did my concealer my brother came so i just went ahead and did some things in between but the things i wanted you guys to see i didn't touch so i'm hoping my concealer don't crease i'm going to use this makeup revolution luxurious baking powder and this is in banana i have never used this before so i wanted to use it and it got a seal on it hopefully this don't be hard to get off there is a seal all right Trying to hurry up because I got to put my lashes on. Let's see how this powder go. I didn't pour too much of it down here. But. Oh. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. You know how you can tell. The texture or something. How you going to feel about it. After you didn't use so many different powders. I don't know y'all. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay and I didn't pour way too much of it out. So let me see if I can. I don't like wasting stuff. I can help it. So it just comes in a container like this. It reminds me of the oh shoot. What is it called? I'm trying to find my brush that I use to wipe my. It reminds me of the um I can't even think of the name of it, y'all. Is it in my drawer? The banana powder that is by, hold on, Ben Nye, because it's in the same kind of container. The Ben Nye one is right here. And then this is the Makeup Revolution. So they're similar, but we are going to see. Um, my lashes is about to dry the glue, so I'm trying to hurry up and do that. Um, It wipes off really easily. Um, It will make, who? don't smell too good it's gonna make your under eyes look a little bit bright so okay let me do these lashes again 
Cause y'all know once the glue starts to dry up, your lash won't attach correctly. So I'm gonna grab this. Um, and the glue I'm using, you guys, is just the uh, Kisses glue. You can get this uh, Kiss glue. You can get that from Walgreens. All right, I'm going to use, this is from BH Cosmetics. It's called the Stellar Lash Valumous Mascara. I don't know. Looks like this. I got it for free with an order. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to look into this mirror. Ah! My lashes been acting real ignorant. I don't know if they got glue on them or what, but we're gonna hurry up and pop these lashes on. So let me pop on my lashes. And then do I have another item? Oh yeah. I got a powder I wanna show and then the lippies, of course. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I had to do that. I got my lashes on. Um, anybody that's interested in knowing what these lashes are, they are the Tony, uh, these is the Katrina's. These are from the 99, no, these are from Dollar Tree, y'all, and you're probably not going to be able to find them. I'm going to just let you know now, probably not. The, I haven't seen them since I found them, but when I do find them. I'm gonna do a giveaway so that I can give somebody some so y'all can see how good they are. They're really good. All right, next product that I have not used that I want to try out. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation Powder. And this is in Mocha. Uh, our next store here went out of business. Sadfully, I was so happy, y'all, that we had a next store. Well, I ain't even contoured, so how the hell am I gonna put a powder on? That's what I didn't pull out. Contour. So let me contour real quick. But yeah, our next door. Um, I'm gonna just use this elf. Y'all know. Okay, so y'all know I'm saying okay, so all right, y'all. <laughs> We're gonna try this can't stop, won't stop powder, and this is in the color mocha. Um, uh, cause y'all know I'm queen for using my L'Oreal infallible powder because that's what i always use but for the sake of this video i wanted to try some i hadn't tried so we're going to try this powder i grabbed this when our next store was going out of business so huh i don't really know what to say about it yet i don't know what to say yet okay so i'm just trying to shift stuff out of my way um so now once i've done that i'm gonna go in with this l'oreal crush foil metallic highlighter illuminator and this is in the color rose quartz i have used this before but it's been a long time ago um i can't even remember so i'm just gonna pop Ooh. oh baby honey <laughs> that L'Oreal didn't come to play. It did not come to play. Oh. For setting spray, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I have used this twice, I believe. So I'm just going to spray my face. This is a very light misted spray. So you put it on, it don't even really feel like you put nothing on. But it smells so good. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love that smell. But y'all know, when the setting spray is too light, I gotta go in with some that hit. So I'm gonna go in with this LA Color Matte Setting Spray. This is a fave and it's almost gone. So, you know, I'm gonna have to get that again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just take my all-time... Jordana liner and I'm going to I'm going to do a video on the uh, ice cream bee so we're going to leave that for the next video but uh, these two came with the coffee cap palette they were a part of the collection this one is La Vida Mocha and this one is Java Brew 
So I think I'm going to use Java Brew. I had to order these off the Wet n Wild website, y'all. And I ordered the palettes off of Ulta. So I couldn't find nothing in stores. So that's why this video is a little bit behind. Hold on, let me open this. So I just did my lips with this Jordana liner. And y'all know they changed the packaging, right? I think the formula is different. It's not as dark as it usually is. And y'all know I know because I've been using this for years. Um, so I went in with the ColourPop uh, lip liner in Creature. So now I'm going to take a Java Brew and see. And these are lip glosses, y'all. Uh, Lord. This oh wait 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 I just got a strong coffee smell though it smells like coffee the palette don't I ain't had no coffee today y'all that smells so good <laughs> this smells like coffee but the palette doesn't have a coffee smell like that so this, uh, um, this thing didn't roll all the way up. Smells, oh my gosh, y'all. That, with, if you ain't got your fix in the morning, that will do it for you. Now I'm going to take La Vida, La Vida Mocha, and I'm going to go into the center and see how I feel about like that. Mm. Okay. Uh, I like the Java one a whole lot. La Vida Mocha. There's another one and I don't know the name of it. But this one, you will definitely have to mix it um, if you melt it in skin. So what I'm going to do now, y'all, this is the look with everything that I used. I'm going to finish myself up. And then I will come to y'all and tell y'all what I think about this, this palette and the rest of the items in this video. Okay, y'all. So this is the look complete. I am done. Um, let's talk about these products. Okay, so I got a real mess over here. Y'all can't see it, but it's real, real, y'all. Real, real. Okay, so first of all, Child. my brush was about to fall out my hand i still digging this hair i will post the link that you guys can go and watch it but anyway on to the show okay so let's start off with this palette this is the wet and wild coffee cap palette like i told y'all before this is what it looks like beautiful colors right now, y'all know I've been a Wet n Wild fan to the heart of hearts for a very, very long time. I collect their items. I buy their items just to buy them, but I do use them. And a lot of, y'all hear the kids, I'm sorry. A lot of stuff that I have gotten and tried out was really good. Not to say that this palette is bad, but I will say this. For the look I got, I had to do a lot. And as y'all see in the video, the shimmery colors were not really pigmented. So that's the issue that I have with this, excuse me y'all, this palette, um, bracelets. That's the issue I have with this palette. The shimmers, now I'm gonna swatch. Let me see, if I can see that? That's not, but if I swatch one of these matte, way more pigmented so and the, the coffee smell is very pretend like coffee it doesn't smell as much like coffee as the uh lip gloss did but we'll get to that um yeah shimmers was a mist in this palette but if you want to do a really good 
matte look, I'm pretty sure it would be good for that. Now, I'm not going to say this palette is a total fail because it's not. But I had to... Got a piece of hair, y'all. Just kicking it right here. What is going on? I had to um, go in with concealer and then um, put the color, the, the shimmer in there. So, yeah. When what? I don't know. Okay, on to... I'm going to tell y'all about the main stuff. Then I'll go into the other stuff that I use. These lip, uh, lip glosses. Bomb. They feel really good on the lips. They're really moisturizing. It's not creasing up in the cracks of the mouth like some lip glosses do. Really good. Really good. Um, I recommend this one. And this is called Java Brew. Get this. Get it. If you're melanin skin, get it. If you any other color, get it. It don't matter. This is bomb. Um, you will need a lip liner with this. You are forewarned. <laughs> um, I did not get the other shade, but I am going to go back and get it. I just picked two that I thought I would like. Um, so all together, the Wet n Wild situation palette, you're going to have to work hard with the shimmer shades because they're not very pigmented. Matte is awesome. Um, I will be doing a video separate on this palette because we're going to see if it's the same with both. Uh, mascara. This is the BH Cosmetics Stellar Last Mascara in Black. I think it only comes in black. This right here is what it looked like. That's the tip. I mean the tip. The brush. Lord Jesus. Awesome. I will buy this. I'm going to have to go on the site and order it. I like it. I did use it in combination with my Maybelline. Because y'all know this is bad. Kids is going in and out of here. They on my nerves. Um, yeah. So, that was that. Let's talk about these other two items. The Makeup Revolution Luxurious Baking Powder in Banana. Um, I really, it gives me a brighter look under my eyes and I'm not always into that. Well, I'm talking about putting the body pins in. But, I can't say that it's bad. I honestly... Would love to do a makeup revolution one brand tutorial uh, makeup video. So y'all look forward to that because I'm going to do that. I want to test out some other items. And really, I forgot I had a makeup revolution concealer. I could have used this over there. But this, I'd say try it out. Test it out. Go out and get it. It's not that much. I think it was like $5 or something like that. I got it a while ago. Now, this Can't Stop, Won't Stop Powder by NYX. I like it. Do I like it better than my normal L'Oreal powder? No. <laughs> but I do like it. So, I would recommend it. Um, I would recommend it. Uh, it is very matte. So, if that's what you're looking for, go for it. All right, so yeah, that was pretty much everything that I used that was new, y'all. This was just a quick video. Um, probably wasn't really quick. But yeah, that is basically about the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat Palette collection. I am missing one lip gloss, so know that each palette comes with three glosses. So yeah, this was my take on this. Had to get a, uh, whatchamacallit for the video. <laughs> I didn't have no coffee today, y'all. I just had Dr. Pepper. But I wanted to get that for, uh, the video card. But yeah, y'all. That's pretty much it. I got my son over here with his Chromebook for me to log him back in. I just, don't get me camera, boy. I just wanted to do this video. Because it was time. I think I'm a week behind. But I will be doing the video next on the Ice Cream B palette. So stay tuned for that. I'll see y'all on the next one. Remember, stay positive, stay motivated, and stay safe. And I'll see y'all on the next one.
Love y'all. Bye. bye. bye.